Hello and welcome to today's session on the foundational principles of applied behavior analysis. Today, we'll delve into the core scientific levels of understanding that guide our work in a b a description, prediction, and control. Understanding these concepts is crucial for effectively analyzing and influencing behavior in a scientific manner. Let's get started with some definitions, examples, and finally, test your understanding with some mock exam questions. There is description, control, prediction in scientific level of understanding. The goals of behavior analysis as a science, as outlined in your information, Focus on achieving a comprehensive understanding of socially significant behavior, changes through the principles of description, prediction, and control. Each of these goals contributes to the development of a scientific knowledge base, enabling applied behavior analysts to implement effective interventions. Let's explore each goal with the information provided. Description The first goal of behavior analysis is to accurately describe behavior and the conditions under which it occurs. This involves systematic observation and the collection of data to quantify, classify, and examine behaviors for potential relationships with other known facts. Descriptive research lays the groundwork for generating hypotheses and guiding further research. An example for description provided is the work of John James Audubon, who meticulously documented bird species and their behaviors, serving as a classic case of descriptive science. Similarly, in ABA, descriptive studies like White's investigation of classroom teachers' rates of approval and disapproval help identify patterns that may suggest avenues for further analysis and intervention development. Prediction The second goal is prediction which emerges from identifying consistent covariations between events. This involves observing that the presence or absence of one event is related to the occurrence or non-occurrence of another, with some specified probability establishing a correlation, while correlations can suggest potential causal relationships. They do not confirm causality because the variables are not manipulated. However, these correlations are invaluable for predicting outcomes and guiding experimental research. An example from ABA research is McCurcher and Thompson's study, which found correlations between problem behaviors in children and certain teacher responses, aiding in the prediction of behavior and informing intervention strategies. Control The ultimate goal of behavior analysis is control or the ability to manipulate conditions to change behavior in a predictable and beneficial manner. This is achieved through experimental research that identifies functional relations between manipulated variables, independent variables, and observed behaviors dependent variables. Control demonstrating a functional relation means showing that specific changes in behavior are reliably produced by certain manipulations. And these changes are not due to extraneous factors. This level of understanding allows for the development of effective behavioral interventions. Control exemplifies the highest level of scientific understanding because it not only enables prediction, but also allows practitioners to cause desired behavior changes, thereby providing a foundation for applied behavior technologies. In summary, the goals of behavior analysis description, prediction, and control form a framework for understanding and influencing behavior in a scientifically rigorous manner. By systematically observing behavior's description, identifying patterns and correlation, prediction, and establishing functional relationships through experimental manipulation control behavior, Analysts develop effective strategies for producing socially significant behavior change. Example for description. Baseline measurement of behavior. An ABA therapist observes and records the frequency of aggressive outbursts in a child with autism in various settings, home, school, community to establish a baseline. 
This descriptive data helps in understanding the current level of the behavior before any intervention is applied. Functional behavior assessment. Conducting an AFB involves systematically collecting data on antecedents. What happens before a behavior? Behaviors. The specific actions being analyzed and consequences what happens after the behavior. This process describes the function or purpose of challenging behaviors, such as attention, seeking or escape from demands. Skill assessment. A skill assessment like the VB Map Verbal Behavior Milestones Assessment and Placement Program, or the ABLLS R Assessment of Basic Language and Learning. Skills Revised is used to describe a child's current verbal and nonverbal communication skills, social interactions, and other learning abilities. This helps in identifying areas of strength and need. Example for prediction. Correlation between academic engagement and success. An ABA practitioner might observe and document that increased academic engagement example participation in class. Completing assignments is consistently followed by improved test scores. This predictive information can guide interventions aimed at increasing engagement to foster academic success. Predicting behavioral outcomes from environmental changes through observation, an ABA therapist predicts that modifying the classroom environment, reducing noise, providing clear visual schedules, will decrease instances of disruptive behavior in students with sensory sensitivities. Antecedent-based interventions, if data show that a child's tantrums occur, primarily when they are asked to transition between activities, an ABA therapist can predict tantrum behavior based on the antecedent transition demand. Implementing a visual timer or warning signals before transitions can reduce the likelihood of tantrums. Example for control. Discrete trial training. An ABA therapist uses DTT, a structured method of teaching, to teach a child with autism how to request items by name. By controlling the teaching environment, prompts, and reinforcement, the therapist can increase the child's ability to communicate their needs effectively. Differential reinforcement of alternative behavior to reduce instances of aggression in a child. An ABA practitioner implements DRA by reinforcing alternative, appropriate ways of expressing frustration, example using words, asking for a break. By controlling the consequences of both the challenging and alternative behaviors, the practitioner can decrease aggression and increase positive communication skills. Environmental modification for skill acquisition. An ABA practitioner controls the learning environment for a child struggling with independent play skills. By arranging the play area with preferred toys, and gradually increasing the complexity of play activities. The practitioner can systematically teach and reinforce independent play. Let's practice with some mock exams. Mock exam one. An ABA therapist records the number of times a student engages in hand flapping behavior during different classroom activities over the course of a week. What goal of behavior analysis does this scenario best exemplify? 1. Description 2. Prediction 3. Control 4. Verification Correct answer is 1. Description the therapist is systematically observing and documenting a specific behavior to understand its current level, which aligns with the goal of description in ABA. Mock Exam 2. By analyzing the data collected over several months, an ABA therapist notices that a child's disruptive behaviors increase during sessions that occur right after lunchtime. This observation primarily aids in achieving which goal of behavior analysis? 1. Description 2. Prediction 3. Control 4. 
replication. Correct answer is 2. Prediction. The therapist identifies a pattern covariation between the time of the session after lunch and an increase in disruptive behaviors, which can be used to predict when these behaviors are more likely to occur. Mock exam 3. After identifying that disruptive behaviors increase after lunch, an ABA therapist decides to implement a relaxation routine right before afternoon sessions to reduce these behaviors. The implementation of this intervention is an example of which goal of behavior analysis? 1. Description 2. Prediction 3. Control 4. Verification Correct answer is 3. Control. By manipulating the environment introducing a relaxation routine, the therapist aims to change the behavior reduce disruptive behaviors, demonstrating the goal of control. Mock exam 4. Following the introduction of the relaxation routine, the ABA therapist measures whether there is a decrease in disruptive behaviors. To determine the effectiveness of the intervention. What does this process primarily aim to achieve in the context of behavior analysis? 1. Description 2. Prediction 3. Control 4. Verification Correct answer is 4. Verification the therapist is verifying the effectiveness of the intervention. By comparing post-intervention behavior with baseline measures to see if the desired change occurred. Mock exam 5. An ABA therapist implements a token economy system to increase positive social interactions among a group of students. The success of the intervention is documented and later replicated in another classroom with similar characteristics. The process of replicating the intervention's success in a new setting is an example of which aspect of behavior analysis? 1. Description 2. Prediction 3. Control 4. Replication Correct answer is 4. Replication. Replication involves applying the same intervention in a new context or with different individuals to see if similar outcomes can be achieved, thereby strengthening the evidence for the intervention's effectiveness. Mock exam 6. During a study, an ABA therapist uses a scatter plot to visually represent the occurrences of aggressive behavior throughout the day. For a month, identifying times of higher frequency. The creation of a scatter plot to identify patterns of behavior primarily serves which goal of behavior analysis? 1. Description 2. Prediction 3. Control 4. Replication Correct answer is 1. Description By organizing and visually displaying the data, the therapist is describing the behavior in detail, including its frequency and distribution across different times of the day. That's all today. Hope you understand better about description, control, prediction in scientific level of understanding. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe channel. Have a good study. Thank you for watching.